This morning, Amanda Guthrie is adapting to a new routine. After years as an award-winning history teacher in Texas, she says politics and religion compelled her to leave the job she loved. What was it like being around your kids? Oh, it was the best part of every day. But in recent years, her old school district of Grapevine Colleyville passed sweeping policies, banning certain discussions of gender, regulating the bathroom use of transgender students, and restricting lessons on race, gender, and sexuality. While some parents are in favor of the new policies, Guthrie isn't. And she says she felt like she couldn't teach her students the full context about American history. So she quit before the school year was over. Embrace simple truths. There's only two genders. Teachers shouldn't be forced to use your freaking made up fantasy pronouns. Why not stick it out a few more months? It felt unsafe. They were openly disparaging the work that teachers were doing in the classrooms of the district that they're supposed to advocate for. Pastor and North Texas Representative Nate Schatzline is one of the state's most outspoken conservative legislators. There is nothing more important that we could be doing than this right here, worshiping and praying in the middle of the Capitol. He's also voted to hire religious chaplains as unlicensed mental health counselors in public schools. Schatzline spoke with NBC News for the new podcast, Grapevine. Do you believe in the fundamental separation of church and state? I believe that church and state in the Constitution, what was written about it was written to keep the state out of the church, not to keep the church out of the state. We spoke to some North Texas students who say their education is too politicized. It's frustrating, strange, and hypocritical to see the In God We Trust signs being put up everywhere while at the same time books are being removed from our library shelves. Did you ever get the sense that a teacher was trying to push their political or gender-related views on you in school? Absolutely not. The Grapevine Colleyville Independent School District declined requests for interviews, but told NBC News we review all feedback and continuously look at how we can better serve and support our employees. As for Amanda Guthrie, she was one of more than 160 staffers who resigned from her district last school year, an 83 percent increase from a year earlier based on our analysis of the district data, guys. Wow. Wow. All right, it's impressive. You. You've done a lot of work there. Thank you. And by the way, the first two episodes of the Grapevine podcast series from NBC News Studios are available now, and you can listen wherever you get your podcast. Congratulations, mm -hmm. too. Thank you, Antonia. Hey, thanks for watching. Don't miss the Today Show every weekday at 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 Pacific, on our streaming channel, Today All Day. To watch, head to today.com slash all day, or click the link right here.